Welcome to the Vegas Insider Channel here on YouTube. Kevin Rogers with you as we take a look at Friday night action inside the NBA and the late night game out in Salt Lake City. It's the red hot Utah Jazz playing host to the Dallas Mavericks. And this is the second game of their two game set. And the Jazz took care of the Mavericks back on Wednesday night, 116 to 104. And this was a game the Jazz played without their star, Donovan Mitchell, who was out due to concussion symptoms. He's expected to come back on Friday night, but the Jazz remaining on fire. They've won 10 consecutive games, and Utah has covered in all 10 of those contests. Last time they lost was against the Knicks back in mid-January on the road. They had a bit of a shaky East Coast trip, but then they picked things up with a win at Milwaukee and then beat Detroit and Cleveland. And all of a sudden, things have turned the right way for Quinn Snyder's team. Meanwhile, for the Mavericks, they come in losers of three in a row off that defeat to the Jazz a few nights ago. Also, they lost at home to Denver and Houston during this stretch. And Rick Carlisle's club now just two and six in the last eight games. But we're going to focus on the total in this one coming up on Friday night. Now, we've seen the schedule change a bit in the NBA due to the pandemic and trying to reduce travel that we see teams playing two-game sets, normally two in three days. Some have played without rest. But in the last 17 instances in which teams played with one day of rest, the second game of that two-game set, the total result from the first game has stayed the same in the second game. Now, Dallas and Utah just barely finished under the total in their first game of 220 and a half. And Dallas's defense has been shaky, just to put that out there. They've allowed 116 points or more in six of their last seven games. But this is a Mavericks team, though, that has gone under the total in six of eight games as a road underdog. So with all that being said, we're going to look at the under on Friday night between the Mavericks and the Jazz to keep that trend going, that even though Utah has been on fire, they shot the ball very well on Wednesday night. Now we'll see what happens with Mitchell back in the lineup coming up on Friday and for Dallas. When you get past Luka and Porzingis, the offense at times kind of disappears. So we're going to look at the under in Salt Lake City Friday night between the Mavericks and the Jazz as our best bet. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Vegas Insider. Also, you can find our Friday night college basketball best bet. It's with our friend Tom Cunningham. And it's the Iowa Hawkeyes visiting the Illinois Fighting Illini. And that's a big one inside the Big Ten. So check out that video on the Vegas Insider YouTube channel.